What is going on, everyone? Welcome to uh, Dinkum. Yeah, it's uh, from pretty much from what I heard, it's pretty much Stardew Valley meets Animal Crossing, and I like Stardew Valley. I like Animal Crossing, so we're gonna play both at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select new game. This is uh, one that was actually a you know it's another one based off of recommendation, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're starting off with a, uh, create a character here. Very similar to, uh, Animal Crossing, if I do say so. Um, what? No, no, that doesn't... Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, we can make the hair a little... Brown, but I, I don't, I don't see, like, a really, like... This is, like, the shortest hair I see. Uh, I guess we got spiky hair, too. But, yeah, I guess I guess we can go with uh, with that. What is this? We got eyes? Oh, we got anime eyes, too. Um, what are we going to go with? Let's go with... I guess that works. Uh, we can go... Bam. Uh, that's pretty close. I think. Oh, these are noses. They look like mustaches. I was gonna say, where's the beards? <laughs> so we could go we could go nose, um No one oh my gosh. <laughs> no one knows. And then we could just do like a regular smile, we could do Blush and freckles and how about that one? Like I'm thinking about, like I'm always, uh, yeah, mm, like I'm thinking. Uh, and I guess I, I don't know the purple shirt. Wait, why is the purple a V neck? <laughs> D what? Wait, that's stripes. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll go with a black t-shirt. Uh, and we can confirm. Ooh, what's your name? Let's... Uh... I guess as is, like, as is tradition, we always go with, uh... We'll, we'll play as, uh... We'll play as Vigbo. Um... Hold on, my, my keyboard's, uh, sticking here. Hold on, hold on. Get out of here. There we go. Wait, will it not let me capitalize? It won't let me capitalize. Wait, it won't let me capitalize four or multiple letters in a row. That's interesting. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll be Vigbo. Um, and then what's my island's name? You already know what my island's name is gonna be. Taco Paradise. Yes. So Vigbo is going to Taco Paradise. That is ooh, a long time ago. Everything went south. Almost everybody was forced to move to South City. Like in Dragon Ball Z. The people of South City live cold and miserable lives. Well, I mean, when Cell attacks, you were born here. Oh, well, that's... Most people have no desire to leave. Hmm. But you do. More than anything. Sweet, I'm leaving. And you might have found a way out. Get, I better have found a way out. I don't want to be attacked by Cell. Help wanted. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany me to my old home. Taco Paradise. You used to live on... I wasn't done reading. <laughs> I wasn't done. You leave for Taco Paradise today. Oh, now this one, it's going to make me click to, uh, no, it, it's not. It's just going to give me all the time in the world to leave, to read You Leave for Taco Paradise today, but I had five seconds to read the other thing. <laughs> Oh, sweet. I always wanted to ride in a blimp. We are now flying over Taco Paradise, and we'll be landing shortly. 
Yes. All passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. Oh, I guess it just goes. Looks like we've landed. I'll tell you what. I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure, Vigbo. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. Oh my god, your cell. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking, Vigbo. I'll see you outside, okay? Alright, so we got... Wasad is... Uh, oh... Wow. Smell that fresh air. Apparently that fresh air is next to a, uh, a faulty electric device. I'll tell you what. It feels good to finally be back on Taco Paradise. Now, Vigbo, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? All right. I'll give you this base tent. You take your time to find a good place for it. It'll be our, it'll be our like our town hub. It'll be our like our town hub. Okay, so it, it's supposed to, I think it should be it'll be like our town hub, but there's only an extra R in there. So yeah, that's um you know a typo. The game is still in early access, so they're still uh, fixing things, if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Taco Bear Paradise for a very long time, but I think I can still be helpful. I'll be waiting by this dock until you set up the base tent. So if you get lost, just check your map to find the dock again. Good luck, Figbo. Yes, the base tent. All right. And the island map. Pins can be placed on it to mark points of interest. Okay, that's my inventory. Um, oh, so you can just... You can place pin... Whoa. Whoa! This... is a huge island. Move camera. Or shift. Billabong? Oh, desert bushlands. Okay, I like this. This is nice. So, let's... Oh, I have to... Okay, this is uh, interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, 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 control, the controls are a little weird because you have to hold... Like, you have to hold shift. The mouse doesn't actually, like, run... Like, move by itself. So... It is going to take a little getting used to. Um. Alright, alright. We can... I don't know. I guess we, we shouldn't set up our... I don't think we should set up our base camp too far away. So why not just set it... I don't know, right here? And then E to rotate. And place... Yes. So, this is where you decided to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Taco Paradise. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you, too. Oh, I get to sleep in a tent? I know it's not much, but it'll be a place you can call home. Oh, sweet. Now, there's plenty of room to spread out here on Taco Paradise. So please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit. So keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. Yeah, that's gonna make sense. Uh, I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you place your tent. You got it. So I guess I should be... I guess I should, um, set up nearby? So...
so I don't know. I like the idea of like having a tent just face out towards the ocean. So can I do that? Uh, I have a feeling... Oh, I can't do that. There's not enough space. Someone is in the way. Something is in the way. Um, let's do this. I don't think I can... Uh, I don't think I can face that out towards not level ground. I think I can, but I don't think I can. Um, Oh, man, I gave the base tent the best spot. <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, how about... What about over here? That's also nice, too. I tell you what, I'll cl I'll claim this little area over here. This can be my area. This is this a good place for the tent? Yes. All right, how do I uh, how do I put items away? Oh, I guess I can just like quick move them. Okay. Oh, awesome. No loading screens is nice. Just walk right into the tent. You found a good place for your tent? You know I did. I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark, Vigbo. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. No, they're scared of Cell. And androids, and being under attack. Uh, there is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the Traveling Trader John? Who? I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. Rumor has it that his parents acquired him by trading a set of antique cutlery. Oh my god. Trading is his... Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in visiting with his with his shop here. I'll tell you what, you can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get the visiting site deed ready for him. Ooh. That way, he'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Taco Paradise. I'll let you decide where the best place for the visiting site deed is. Just be sure it's close by. We want visitors to feel like part of ta part of the Taco Paradise community while they are here. Who knows, maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to me once you have placed the visiting site deed. Alright. So, it just seems uh, like right now, uh, of course, early game, just a bunch of, uh, I guess, fetch quests, if you will, do this and come back and do this and report back but we can do that that's um wait what did I just find money
All right, all right. Where are we going to put... Um... The visiting site? Oh, probably not a good idea to uh, be swimming in this water. I think I saw a monster in there. Oh my gosh, it's a crocodile! Oh my god, get out of there! Oh, oh, he, he, he's got me, he's got me. <laughs> That's terrifying. I gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I shouldn't go wandering off. Uh, it's not, not a good idea. We'll, we'll put, some, like I said, we'll put this uh, visiting deed somewhere nearby. Uh, how about, I don't know, how about like right over here? Oh, can I just put it, like, right where that tree is? I probably shouldn't. I don't know how this game's, like, mechanics work with uh, stuff like that, so I will put it near the trees? Not... This is a good place for the visiting site, deed. Yes. Alright. There we go. Look at that, we're building up a little community right here. So, we're all set for visitors, huh? Yeah. Well done, Vigbo. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. That's what I'm talking about. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Taco Paradise, you know? He was a true blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself, but I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, Vigbo. Please, I want you to take his adventurer's journal. Please, ke uh, please keep good care of it. Um... I guess, uh, I mean, I, I guess keep would work. I would say please take good care of it, but uh, please keep. Uh, I guess it could make sense. Uh, or please keep it. Please keep it safe. I don't I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, please take good care of it would be a uh, better wording. Uh, this is your adventure now. Oh, sweet. I got the adventurer's journal. What was the, um... I think it was, uh, I think that's what it was called in Diablo 3, if I'm not mistaken. The Adventurer's Journal? Uh, that it, journal means a lot to me. But I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it. But, I have a challenge for you, Vigbo. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to your journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want... Uh, I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually. Alright? But we can talk about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. Be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around this island, and that sounds tasty. You go and find us some fruit, and when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Alright, so... Okay, escape will open the journal. Shell, yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Okay. All right. Three bush line, two, uh, three bush lime, two bugs, and one item. Oh, I don't have to go. Oh, that's a jellyfish, a man of war, a turtle. 
Oh, I don't want to go back near the uh, crocodiles. Gum logs? Some of these things don't look like they're they're gonna hurt you too much. Oh, I can jump? Ah, there we go. I wonder, uh, oh, I guess I gotta continue further on in the game. I can plant. Maybe I can plant some of these. And it doesn't look like it's based off of, like, real time. So that's pretty awesome, too. I can, um, just, I can play as I want. And... Can I pet you? You don't seem to be bothered by me. No, go on. Uh, <laughs> Yellow what flower or wattle flowers? But yeah, so far this is uh this is uh nice. I'm enjoying this. It definitely does have that uh, Animal Crossing feel to it. But I've not gotten... I guess I've not gotten into any of like, the uh, the farming aspects yet. And I, they can swim! <laughs> it reminds me of my cousin's dog. Actually, like, he... Just whenever he's outside playing and he gets too, like, warm... Um, there's a broken crocodile right here. Oh no, he's not broken. He's not broken. He sees me. I'm I'm running. I'm running. I don't know where I'm running to, but I'm running. Oh. Oh, I got to run back the other way. Ooh. Alright, so I am going to mark this location on my map. Uh, yes. Okay, so that, that looks like it could be uh, ores. So I'm going to mark that as ores. That's just my guess, my assumption. So... <laughs> so that's what we're, we're going to mark it as. Uh... And we're just gonna run past that crocodile. Come on, pick, pick up the log, pick, pick it up. So this is actually very large. Like this is a very large island too, and I, I love that there's gonna be so much to explore and so much to do. So this is gonna be. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I f believe I still have a couple more weeks before uh, Cult of the Lamb comes out. Or Cult of the Lamb is 100% uh, released. So I'm excited about that. I might be playing this in the meantime. Alright, so I think... Oh, we can look at the journal. We got three bush limes. Oh, I have to... Um... Oh, I have to craft an item. Talk to Fletch. Oh, you found something to eat. Eating food will help keep your energy up. Oh, that's that's good. We want to keep our energy up. Here's the recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier, so you can use these to craft your campfire. You'll have to find some wood yourself, though. I can do that. Feel free to use the crafting table in the base tent to craft a campfire. Take your time, Big Bo. <laughs> when you are done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Stones. 
New crafting recipe. Campfire. We're gonna craft... Oh, what is it? A rock path. Oh, interesting. Uh, I need the campfire first. Let's go. Track recipe ingredients. Wait, what? Oh, it's probably gonna... It'll track um what I've collected for it so far, so I could go and find more stones. Alright. Oh, we got... Oh, we don't, we don't know any tools yet. All right. I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Vigbo. I think there's a great future for us all here at Taco Paradise. Here is a gift for helping me out so much. It's a bug net! I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you could go catch some bugs around here. Or maybe you could cook some of that fruit you found. I'll figure out something to do. I'm sure you will. Oh, and before I forget, take this sleeping bag, too. When you get tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. <sighs> okay. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for your help today, Big Bo. I can't believe we're on Taco Paradise. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Bug net, I'll take it. Sleeping bag, I'll take it. So, let's do this. We're gonna put this and this. Can I just move this here and that there? And I'm gonna do this and that. Can I plop the campfire down anywhere I want, or is that something like I can pick up and take with me anywhere I go? Oh, look at that. Wait, do these respawn whenever I come out of the um whenever I go in a tent and come out somewhere? No, because uh, why the shells would respawn if that were the case. I just must have missed those. Um, can I... I guess I can't catch those. <laughs> Not yet, at least. I might need, like, a fishing rod. Oh, come here, bugs. I caught a Ulysses butterfly. All right. Oh, what are you? I caught a blue moon butterfly. Can I catch a bird? I can jump and swing my net? I'm really liking like the, uh, the look of this game too. Like, I guess, I, I mean, I guess I'm a sucker for like the cartoony. Uh, style games. Can I pick these rocks up? Are these rocks? No, these are not rocks. They're skulls. But so far, I mean, it's playing really well. There's a couple of, um, I guess, uh, typos in a sense. Uh, but other than that, that's not detracting from any of the gameplay at all. And I guess... Should I keep... Should I put my sleeping bag in my tent? Or am I... Or do I go in... Am I able to save uh, in my tent? I, I feel like the sleeping bag needs to go in the tent. We'll rotate that? Yeah, and we'll place that down here. I don't want to put my... I don't want to put the campfire... Like, I feel like I can put the campfire near my tent. Oh no! I'm on fire! What have I done? <laughs> But I can also pick up the campfire. Okay, interesting.
complete daily tasks, place sleeping bag, and get some rest. Alright, so what do I have left for daily tasks? Oh, I've completed the daily tasks. Daily milestones. Uh, optional, complete daily tasks. And then uh, place sleeping bag and get some rest. So I guess uh, we're going to go ahead and get some rest for the day. So let's lay down. Call it a day. Sleep until tomorrow. Year one, Sunday, summer. Whoa! Dinks. Wait a minute. Are Dinks just Dogecoins? <laughs> I think Dinks are just Dogecoins. But, oh, this definitely ha this has like a, um... A, a, like a little wood leveling system. So whatever you do on the island, you'll get points for. So foraging and bug catching and... Oh, I like that. That's amazing. Uh, but I feel like this is going to be a good uh, good spot to end the episode. Well, actually, let's uh, let's go on. Let's go on. Let's see what happens in the next day. Uh, wild animals can be kept in a pen. Someone is visiting the island. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll call it an episode on uh, we'll call it an episode for this uh, this one, and then we'll be back with another episode. So if you guys are enjoying the series, if you'd like to see more of it, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, you guys take it easy.